Welcome to talking about computer science. Today we are going to go deep in the print function from Python. And we are going to know that we could do amazing things using this very basic and simple function. Most of us, when begin with Python programming, start with the print function, this function here. But many developers do not know you could extend the usage of this function to additional parameters like separator, like n, or even file you can write inside a file using the print function. So you could see how easy to use and the power of such functionality. So let's show some examples. Go through the usage of this function and take a look what it provides to us. Okay? So here we have the default usage of this function. When we set just one string parameter without name, that prints its output in the console. But the first thing you could know, taking a look uh, in docs, is that we could have multiple objects, not just one object. When we ask to print just one object, it's going to print just this whole string. But we could set a lot of objects separated by comma, like it was different parameters, but, but actually it's like a spread operator, it means all of these parameters are going to be the same, but internally the function knows they are different and go to present one by one separated. So take a look here in the console. What we are going to, to have, all of them is printed and separated by a white space. But why a, a white space? It's the default separator. However, we could customize that. And for customizing, then it exists the set parameter. You could use a second parameter, then a named parameter, from here set. Actually, we are going to execute this one now. And then we are saying, no, I don't want to use the standard white space. I would like to use a separator. I would like to use this pipe separate the entries. Then take a look here. All of the entries are separated one by the other using one pipe. It could be a comma, could be a semicolon, or what you want to. Okay? And let's suppose you have no control about the object, but you always want to have the same end string, the same end object. Sometimes, um, of course, you could concatenate this this output, but you have to program this logic. But it's already read to be utilized this end parameter. Here I'm saying, okay, separate the values using a comma this time, not more a pipe. And when you print the last object, I always add these three dots at the end. So take a look about what we had. But here is important to take a look at one thing. By default, what is this end? It's a line break. By the file, everything I have printed until now has break a line at the end. But here I replaced the line break by three dots. That was the reason it already prints this next statement with in the same line. Okay, this, this file operator that lets the last stuff I'm going to demonstrate to you is already printed in the same line because I have replaced the end operator. Right? And then the last stuff we could utilize it is the file. Here, the file parameter. It's quite good because you can we can parameterize a file object of Python. So here I have created a new file, said it's available to be written, and then here is the file object. Then I can just call the print, and then we could use all the techniques we have already take a look in this video. And then use additionally the file parameter. Using the file parameter, I'm saying, saying, do not print that in the console. That's the standard output. Print that in an alternative output. Print that in a file. And it looks here. And this time, and the separator of each of its objects will be a, a new line. Okay? So here, the file was created. Start to filter. And take a look what we have. All the three objects separated one by one by a new line and the line Y because we have utilized the separator a line break. Okay? Hope you have enjoyed this video. See you next time.